job of a character artist is to take the concepts and interpret into 3D models for the world. Uh, my personal favorite creature that I got to work on on Dragon Age Origins was the Darkspawn Ogre. We tried to make the Ogre so terrifying in his appearance that the player wouldn't believe that he could actually beat it in combat. I was really uh, looking forward to it. The concept was, uh, was very unique and it was a bit of a challenge to actually bring it into the 3D environment with the different elements. It might seem like a strange thing to say when working on a fantasy game, but realism is a very important part of this process. If you don't believe that they're real, then none of it affects you. It's, it's nothing. I mean, the level of detail on these creatures is amazing. I mean, you can zoom right into any part of them from any angle, and they look absolutely fabulous. So here we have the Pride Demon. It's uh, one of the largest creatures in the game. From this concept, we'll, we'll make a 3D concept out of it. Once we do that, we'll take this basic mesh, and we'll go ahead and, and paint a really detailed uh, sculpted uh, model. We'll take this and we'll make a projection so we can get all these little details into a texture and then place that texture onto the mesh that you saw before and you'll get your, your finished model with all its uh, texture and glory. Making a creature scary is more than just making it big. It's really the way the creature moves that indicates its strength, its mass, and its bulk. Animation is really about performance, and uh, the same way that an actor gets prepared for a role in learning and studying what this character thinks, what this character feels, the animator is, uh, his, it's his job to bring that uh, uh, to the character in a more digital form. The great thing about working on Dragon Age is that the animators uh, have the ability to start bringing not only humanoid characters to life, but also uh, larger characters, more interesting, dynamic characters like dragons and ogres and, and the undead. So this is what the ogre uh, puppet looks like once the, uh, the rigging and the, the modelers have uh, finished working with it, and now the animators can take it and uh, start making it move. Sometimes we would uh, just act it out, like get up, and physically act out how like an ogre would move. As you can see, when the ogre hits the ground, um, his entire body shakes from the massive impact of his size, uh, and that's a really nice detail. See the ogre finally in the game and working and, and animating and, and, and all its terrifying glory is actually uh, it's quite surreal. When you're working with such a big creative team, everyone is coming to the table with their own style, with their own techniques. And as the development process goes along and you start building a world together, uh, it becomes one language. And that language becomes something like Dragon Age Origins.